This is Mark Hosky, and I'm here with Joe Bastone. Joe, give us your name, title, and what you're excited about this week. Sure. My name is Joe Bastone. I'm the director of product management for Experian PKS. I've been with Honeywell for 23 years, um, and I've been in product management for the last 16 years. Um, this week, uh, we talked about the launch coming up in March of Experian PKS 530. And I'm really excited about that because it introduces a lot of new functionality in a lot of new areas. Um, we'll talk about three major topics that are part of that 530 release. Um, first one is around industrial autonomous. Second one is around um, modernization. And the third one is around sustainability. So on industrial autonomous, there's a few new features that we've introduced as part of the 530 release. Um, the major new one is an enhancement to Experian PKS IO Hive. Um, with Experian PKS IO Hive as a quick refresher, um, we have the ability to decouple the controller from the IO modules. And we've introduced um, a new module called the CM100 that helps to enable that. Um, we're also able to use the entire Series C IO product family as part of that IO Hive. What we've done that's new in release 530 is we're able to um, use the Ethernet interface module and bring in smart protocols like Ethernet IP or Profinet or Modbus coming later this year as part of um, that IO Hive. So that gives you way more flexibility than you'd ordinarily have where IO modules are fixed to control module to controllers. Um, and those controllers um, have to do a lot of peer-to-peer -peer communication as you start to grow and expand your system and IO lands in different junction boxes. And you have to really maintain the system across the whole spectrum instead of as controllers that are doing um, you know, individual areas of control, getting the IO from wherever it's needed. Next topic is on modernization. With modernization, we're adopting the latest operating systems from Microsoft, we're adopting um, the latest SQL Server, Visual Studio, versions of Acronis that are used as part of our Experian backup and restore solution, um, and really have you know, the latest and greatest technology that is underpinning the Experian ecosystem. Um, from a cybersecurity standpoint, um, we have the support for you know, ISA Secure across a wide variety of controllers, including the C300, the Ethernet Interface Module, the Unit Operations Controller, the C300PM, so on and so forth. We also deploy to the maximum practical CIS standards, so you have a secure experience system that's deployed out of the box with no additional hardening that's required at launch. We also have new solutions um, from a remote access standpoint that help with that modernization, where what we're trying to achieve here is the ability to have secure remote access done through a web browser alone. Um, we call this Experian Remote Gateway. It's a great solution for being able to have corporate wide access um, that lets you look at the system and look at it just like an operator would be looking from their operator console station. On the sustainability front, we're providing Experian at least 530 really as that, that core infrastructure that's gonna support emission management um, efforts going forward. So you can use this release of Experian to deploy those um, sustainability efforts, um, whether it's emissions monitoring, emissions management, and bringing in solutions that we've, that Honeywell's introduced over the past year to really get that out the door um, and have that core base to really uh, to, to take advantage of. So those are just a few things that are part of this Experian 530 release that's coming out um, at the end of March um, this year. I'm really excited about it, um, and you know, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be a great ride through 2024.